And we are live. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So today we thought we would be talking about ways to practice patience because patience is something that maybe it's just me, I'm not sure, but I, I think there's a lot of us who kind of really battle with how do we manage patience? You know, I think lockdowns forced us to be more mindful and to practice patience. But sometimes we need some guidance and some tips, which is why today we thought we'd bring some tips in on how to manage your patients and how to become more patient. We've got six tips today. So the first one is to have positive rewards. So I don't know if you remember that situation where there was a whole bunch of children and they did a survey over many years and it was about delayed gratification. So that's kind of what this is, because when you have delayed gratification, you're able to wait, put the time in, work steadily towards something, and then you get the reward. Because nothing is instant. We think it is, but it isn't. It isn't. And you know what I think? That's the funny part, because I really had that conversation yesterday with a client, and I said, you know what everyone expecting, because of the social media, everything yeah. looks so instant. Like, I'm going to do this and put a mm -hmm. No, guys, Rome wasn't built in a day and definitely your business is not going to be built in a day. Like we need to remember this. And if you use social media and all of this the right way, you're actually building relationships. You're building connections. That takes time. Look at yeah. your friends. Look at your relationship on, you know, on love life. You know, it takes time to build to get to where it is. So I do believe in, like you say, positive rewards. Like, you know, you get step by step. Um, and that's how you're going to get patience because I must admit, I thought I have lots of patience in life. When I got my business, I realized I don't. I'm so far from it. I realized I don't have patience for what I want. I don't get the now, now. For me, everything, it's now. It's not just now or now, now. It's now. Yeah. And then I learned to be more patient. And that's one of the things. And I'm also going to you know, link it to the second one, which is having smart decision making. You know, You need to make sure that if you're making the right decision, that's going to lead you. It's going to lead you step by step. It's going to lead you in the right direction. But if you're going to make decisions just because you don't have the patience for things, then you may be going to get to the wrong place. And then you will need to do stuff over and over again. And maybe, you know, you're just going to delay the process. So it's better to stop, have a calculated decision, use people advices, use consultation, use whatever you need to. Make the decision for your business that it's right for you and then move on instead of like, but on the other hand, I must say before you say it, that even if you had a mistake, it's not a bad thing. Don't be afraid to fail. Okay. Just fail forward. and then. Yeah. With that one, it's also about the what ifs. Like, you know, you've got to, mm -hmm. you've got to look at the situation and go, okay, so, so I'm thinking of doing a, another coaching course through, um, through the business school, through UCT. And I was speaking to somebody else and that's kind of what triggered because she's doing it and she's finishing her hours and whatever. And it kind of triggered my, my, my thoughts around doing it. And now I'm kind of processing it going, okay, I know I've done a lot of education and training, but for me, you can never have enough. Like I can never, ever, ever learn enough. I'm obsessed with education. And so even if I go, what ifs? So what if it's going to cost me a lot of money or what if it's going to take a lot of time? And I, and I get all that. But I think that's part of the, the course is only starting again uh, next year. And I think the what ifs is looking at all of those situations. So the what ifs are very, very important because I tend to be very reactive. And then it's only afterwards I go, oh, okay, maybe not such a good idea. You know, so that's, it is important to look at the what ifs. I think it's very important all the time in general. And by the way, that's what the corporates are doing. They got the why, yeah? So it's all the time when they're trying to solve a problem, that's what they teach. Let's gonna ask all the why. Why do this, why, and, and everything. So all the time ask questions. Don't be just like, make a decision as it is and that's it. Even if your intuition is saying to do something, trust it. But still, before you just jump, ask the questions. If you answer the question and in a positive way, so trust the intuition and still go with this, you know? Make sure that you're like, still there's logic to the stuff that you are deciding to do. Yeah. The third one is, so the, what I, what, when I think about this one, I think about Oprah's masterclass. So she does this masterclass where she interviews famous people 
and she has her story and at the end she goes and that's why da 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 is a master you know because it's a, it things take time and when you are resilient and when you are persistent you get a good reputation and that's part of it you know you you have to you have to be in for the long haul in order to get the good reputation because by the time we hear about somebody they have gone through so, so, so much that we don't even have an idea of what they've gone through. And you know what, and I, and I fully agree with this, because first, it's like I always say, you know, people just hear the success stories and not the process and not about all the failures in between. Um, so that's why I think we all kind of think that everything happens fast and we don't have the patience. But all the one that actually really succeeded in life, those are people that actually it took them time to build where they are. They really worked hard to this. Um, and it is, it's not to give up. And you know, for us, if we look at this, it takes time to build relationship. It takes time to build a brain. A brain is not like a project that you do like in a month or that's it. It's an ongoing thing. And I always say, even look from celebrities, right? Mm -hmm. It's not that like the first day they, they, on the first day they decided to get into politics, they became the prime minister. No, they're not. They were working and, you know, lots of stuff around this. In order yeah. to be a celebrity, even the ones that had the quick wins on like American Idol or whatever it is, the voice, they still work hard to get there. The auditions, the stuff, it's not like, and after that, they still need to keep on working. So it's the same with your business, the same with your brand, it's the same with your life, you know? It's an ongoing thing. Yeah. And the second one is actually to manage your emotions. And I think a lot of us, especially in a time like this, you know, we feel like um, like a pot. It's got like, you know, when you make popcorn like, and it's like jumping all over. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we do. <laughs> that's what a lot of us probably feel during this time. But if you let your emotions control you, that's going to be a problem because yeah. that's not going to get you to where you want to be in life. And it's even if you have like, if you got fears, control them and we actually have videos about how to manage fear uh but one thing that i said that i do i just write it down i acknowledge them but i don't let them control me and that's the same with every type of emotion yeah. acknowledge that emotion yeah accept it, let it be there but don't let it control you yeah that's so something I, I started doing some uh journaling um and one of the things that i'm really 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 working on is when I feel something is to not not react, not do anything, not be in action, but just like let it, whatever it is, um, just let it pass through me because it will, it will pass through you. But it's it's so it's so for me. My immediate reaction is to be reactive. I feel sad, I do this. I feel angry, I do this. I do, so whatever I'm feeling, I'm reacting as opposed to going, okay, acknowledge it, feel it. This week. Part of that is I've done, I've been meditating every day, look, only 10 minutes and it's been guided. Mm -hmm. But I, like, for me, that's part of it because I, I, I do meditation and then I fall off the wagon and then I go back and then I fall off. I'm very inconsistent with it. But I think it's in line with this. The more peaceful you can be within yourself, the easier it is to manage the emotion and not be reactive because that can be hard, you know, not to react emotionally, very hard. It is, but you need to remember that, do you want to let it control your life? Is that going to bring you to the best result? Uh, is this going to help you with your business? Even if a client come and say something, you know, do you want to really react like this? So like, for example, I know that if um, someone's sending me a message and I'm, I really need to meditate, let's say it like this. So what I'll do, I'll first respond with everything I've got to say. I'm just going to write it down. And then I'm gonna delete it. Like a journal. Oh, oh, oh. In a nicer way. No, yes. so I put the theme out and yes. then I'm composing it nicely. And you're like, okay. Well, another thing that I do, which I, I think is quite helpful. So like my, my best mate, she lives, she lives in Portugal. And I was speaking to her yesterday. And what I find really, really helpful is I was, I was talking to her about various things that were happening. And almost like when you are speaking to somebody else and they're repeating it back to you and they're affirming things, you're like, oh, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. Because it's somebody who's in my life but removed from my life, who's got no hidden agenda, but is able to be objective, unpack it all, make sense of it, and it really helps to give clarity, I yeah. find. Yeah. The next one is a tolerance. 
because there's always, always going to be these little challenges. Like whatever it is, I don't think there's anything that I've ever done in my life, whatever that's been, where there haven't been challenges. I think there's a difference between challenges and dead ends. <laughs> you know, you need to know when to stop hogging the dead horse and walk away because you've tried everything and it doesn't work, as opposed to, okay, there's just a little pothole and you need to find a way over, or, or, you know, there, it, there's a difference. I, we don't always know when that is, but I think that ties in with the flow part, right? It is, and I know a lot of us are sometimes afraid from the challenges, but I actually always be saying like to myself that I'm also grateful for the challenges, because if I look at it, you know, like even a bit after or a few months after, you will understand why you need to experience that challenge because that's what got you to where you are now. That's part of your process. Um, and just embrace it, you know. Um, and what I do if I have a challenge and I'm feeling a bit lost and not sure how to deal with this, I actually take a break and I learn to be fine with this. So I'll go lie on the couch or I'll go do a walk or yoga. I'm not going to think about the issue. And then after that, the issue, like, I'll figure it out. I'm just mm -hmm. going to let it go, and then I'll figure it out. So that's another way to, you, you know, to deal with a challenge. Because um, it is, because if not, again, in everything we're saying now, if you are letting other stuff control you, if you're deciding very quickly, all mm -hmm. of this is not going to help you to practice patience. You know, it's going to do the opposite. You're going to lose yeah. patience. And then when you lose patience, you're not really bringing the best result that you can from for the situation. So no, because Certain things what that you do or that you say don't always have a good comeback. So if you're too reactive, then often you can't come back from it. Whereas if you give it the time and patience that it needs, you can often fix it or mend it or sort it out. Yeah. It is. And I just want to say a quick reminder. So every Tuesday, uh, we are talking about marketing topics, different tips on that side. On every Friday, we speak on the personal development side. So if you want, it's going to be on the live is on Big Data Consulting. And then it's also going to be on Shift on the Gray page. So you're more than welcome. If you have questions, if you have certain topics that you want to learn about, hear about, just even send us as a private message or in the comments and we'll get on it. Um, the next one is that, you know, patients bring hope, you know, uh, natural resilience. And it's, it is, you know, if you just release. You have to, you have, to have hope. You have to have hope. Yeah, because if you don't have hope, what do you have? If, if, if you think about everything that you do, you do it with the hope that whatever you're doing is going to give you the rewards that you want. So... If you are continuously doing something for a very, very long time, whatever that is, and you are not getting anything from it, and you're not nothing, there's no return from it. That means you don't have hope. If you don't have hope, what's the point? What is the point? That's when you need to know you've got to walk away. Because you can earn, you know, you've got to have hope. So I'm I'm so I'm a more like I'm a very positive person. You know me. Uh, <laughs> I find the good almost in everything. Um, and I must say that like I'm gonna show it on a personal side, you know. I work hard on my business to get it to where it is today. Uh, but like there was a period of time that you work hard and there's not really movement, a yeah. return of movement as you wanted. And like, but I learned that I keep on trusting the process and I learned that I know that I'm doing the right things. It's just a matter of time. And I kept on doing it and I kept on sticking and I kept on evolving and doing all stuff. And it's came off, you know, it's like, it was worth it. Um, so don't lose hope. Don't lose your patience. You know, stay positive and be honest with yourself. And you, you know if you're acting right or not. We know it. We just need to listen. Yeah, it's yeah. all about trusting the process, trusting like, that you got your own pace. You know, a lot of time we are trying to see and do what other people are doing and copy pasting them and say and look at the, at others and say, but he got his business up and like very quickly. He's earning that much money, and I'm like, what? No, it doesn't matter. You mm -hmm. do things in your own pace. You're going to have the hope and the patience and things will come out. And it doesn't mean that if for someone it happens so quick that it's going to last, right? So don't look at what others. You don't really see the full picture. So just be you and hope. And I really believe in it because when you're hoping, it means that you're trusting. Yeah. And if you're trusting, things will come. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you have nothing else to say about this. <laughs> I don't. I think, I, I think, you know, 
the universe, the uh, whatever you believe in, whatever you believe in. I don't, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm always very mindful about talking about the universe because everyone's got their own belief, and that's 100%. But I think, you know, the way the world has gone, we've all been forced to be patient because we're in such a, you know, I do um, coaching and I've written this course with a client of mine in Germany. And, you know, in Germany, it's, it's very different now. You know, they've pretty, got, they've pretty much gone back to normal, except going outside with masks on. But she was saying they're possibly going to go back and, um, you know, go back down to a level three or four or whatever the case is. And I think there's so much uncertainty. The only thing you can do is be patient and trust the process and be the best version of yourself in this process because that's all you that's all you've really got you know so yeah if you can if you can learn patience and you can practice some of these steps you know that i just think it could it could be really helpful should we summarize them yes so the first one is positive rewards the second is smart decision making <laughs> and the third one is you get a good reputation and mandatory emotions you know acknowledge them accept them but don't let them control you and guide you. The fourth one is have tolerance. And the last one is just patience brings hope, you know? So just embrace it, embrace the process and pray really, you know? And like you said, it doesn't matter what do you believe in, there's a reason why things happen in a certain way. I really believe in it. And there's the reason yeah. why you are going through a certain path in your journey. And like, and, and I'll really, I'm going to end it like with a saying that I really love from J.K. Rollins, because um, who knows her story before how Harry Potter became this huge thing. She got so many times knows. She's got a very like, not an easy life story, but what she said, and I love it so much. She said, rejection is redirection. You love that. You love, love that. It. You do. You bring, and every podcast we do, you bring that. But it's so true. It's so true. Because we get rejected. And we take it on and we think, okay, we're failures, but we're not. It's just putting us on a new path and that's all it is, yeah. It is because so when you get rejected, you go and let your emotions manage you and mm. you lose your patience. Yeah. Uh, and you're losing hope as well because mm -hmm. you feel like, okay, I got re rejected, but it's not. They just yeah. like close you one door and open you the next door. Just yeah. enter the next door and you're going to see what's going to happen there. So. I really love it. And I think that's also going to help you maybe with, you know, like how to deal with some of the stuff we get, we said here. So rejection is redirection. So, yeah. and why not always look at the positive side of stuff? And you can watch our other videos that we give so many tips about how to deal with fears. And really, and we spoke last week on like, you know, uh, trusting the process. Uh, so you're more than welcome to watch these videos. And again, as we said, if you want, if you have question on marketing, that's on Tuesday. If you have question on personal development side on the different topics like anxiety and things like that, that's your place Friday every week. And join us, y'all. Yes. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Have a lovely weekend. <laughs>